But, uh, yeah, this is the baby, baby George, he's been christened. Gorgeous George, the heir apparent but one to the throne of this country. Gorgeous George, the lovely austerity baby. But two, isn't it? <laughs> well, but two, but one, well, we don't know. We don't know yet what could happen. Isn't there Charles <laughs> and then William? There's Charles, there's, there's William, William, then yeah. there's George. Yeah, so he's third. Who's counting? <laughs> Well, they are, the point George is, six. this is an eventual heir to the throne <laughs> called George, named named after the Chancellor of the Exchequer. It's a lovely <laughs> gesture <laughs> to the austerity. They they looked around the cabinet table, thought we've got to actually keep in, be, be at the cutting edge. Mm. Eric Pickles, well, do we want to call the baby Eric? Not chubby enough. Uh, <laughs> Theresa May, quite popular, but is the baby going to be a cross dresser? I mean, even <laughs> well, judging by the picture, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> If you start out in a frock, where, where do you, do you end? Go? Where do you end? Well, you end up an archbishop. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. This is the baptism, the christening of young Prince George. We've said all this. Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> well, just, let me Why just interrupt and ask yes, you a question. Yes. Do you know <laughs> how many pages the Daily Mail devoted? 16. To it's always it. 16. Uh, the Mail devoted 15 pages to the event, while The Independent published a special souvenir issue so readers could cut out and keep the bottom left-hand corner of page 27. <laughs> <laughs> 15 pages, but only seven godparents, and most of them, in my view, useless. Uh, well, I should just how say do you as know? well... They've only been there for a day. No, because if you want... I, how good a godparent are you? You're probably not a very good godparent. Because, no, Ian has a lot of problem with his own children. And... <laughs> Can we vote you off? <laughs> <laughs>